What's good, everybody? Nala CTV, and I'm here with special guest Chef Matt. What's good? What's up, man? How's it going? Everything's going good. Awesome. Where are you from, bro? Uh, I'm originally from Staten Island, New York, but been in New York my whole life. All right. How is it over there? Oh, it's nice, man. A great place to grow up and uh, easily accessible to the city, so it gives you a, a really good kind of standing point to get around. All right, all right. And what inspired you to become a chef? So, um, I always kind of cooked when I was a kid. Um, I did, I worked at a lot of little restaurants and stuff, uh, doing uh, hot food, and then I kind of wanted to go more artistic with it, kind of find some medium to use a little bit more like food science stuff, because that was always kind of an interest of mine growing up. Uh, so, I was able to do that and then combine them, so I uh, went to school and became patient. Yeah. All right, and what school did you go to? I went to the French Culinary Institute. It's now the International Culinary Center on uh, uh, by Canal Street and Broadway. It's number one culinary school in the United States. It's amazing. All right, all right. And how many years of experience do you have being a chef? So I did fine dining for 12 years before I started my company. Um, so that gave me a basis. I worked in some of New York's top kitchens and uh, catering companies. Been around the block. All right. And what does your company sell? So my company sells liquid nitrogen ice cream and confections. We do all different kinds of stuff, uh, different texture manipulations, and just really crazy ice cream. All right. And have you been featured on any websites because of your ice cream? Yeah, man. We're all over uh, Facebook, Instagram, constantly doing cool stuff. I have like Gorillist and uh, a couple other web series and stuff. Do some cool, sh cool things with uh, the ice cream for us. So it's been great. All right, and can you describe cryptogenics? So, uh, cryogenic ice cream, right. what happens with that is it doesn't form an ice crystal because I rapidly freeze it so fast. So it really looks cool, but it also benefits the ice cream in a really cool way because by not forming the ice crystal, it makes the ice cream taste much richer and creamier. I'm also not pumping it full of air. Most ice creams, 35 to 43% air by volume. So if you take a pint of briars and you let it melt on your counter, you have like that much ice cream left the next day. But with mine, it doesn't melt. Like when you melt it, it's the same size liquid or a solid. So that way it comes across your palate much richer, much cleaner, and you're not having like all these air pockets mess up with the flavor. Okay, and how did you learn this? So, um, using liquid nitrogen is kind of a restaurant hack. Uh, fine dining kitchens, we don't have a lot of space to have a big ice cream machine, and we constantly want to be able to change flavors and stuff, so you really have two options. You either buy your ice cream from somebody, or you figure out a way to do it with that smaller machine, or in my case, I always use liquid nitrogen. Uh, you can keep a small canister underneath your station, and that way you can constantly make ice cream change flavors, and it's pretty versatile, and it makes a much better product because of the lack of ice crystal. So in fine dining, it's kind of used that way, but this way I just kind of took the fine dining kitchen and brought it out, and uh, I try to, you know, use my central point as the ice cream, and then I add everything else to the side, so it's still fine dining-esque, but it's just all in a cup and kind of connected and showy. All right, and you've been working with fine dining for a long time, or? Yeah, well, I did fine dining for 12 years, so that whole kind of coming up in that kind of industry leads to, you know, wanting to push the envelope on flavors and textures, and, you know, not really just doing, like, cookies and cream and stuff like that, because I don't. All right, all right. And how did you get the idea of selling nitrogen ice cream? So, I feel like it makes a much better product um, than regular ice cream in fine dining situations, and when you do open-air markets and stuff like that, you have a really nice kind of... Um, uh, back and forth with the customer so it's really cool to be able to show them how you do it and really like spotlight it and being able to show people how you can really just do some really cool stuff okay okay and what are some words of advice that you would give somebody that wants to start their own business uh, anybody that's trying to start your own business man you just gotta kind of go in all day with it you, uh, you find something and you just kind of gotta constantly improve it figure out new ways to you know, evolve it and take things from either how far you can break it down to really create something that's completely your own or how far you can push the envelope with it and keep kind of moving because everybody's always trying to advance and do something new. So as long as you're doing something cool and you make a good product that tastes good, you're golden. Okay, okay. And what are your downfalls that you had to face when you started Built Your Business? Um, so coming from, um, a chef background and not like a business background. Um, you know, it, certain things, building websites, learning how to 
manage social media, how to market stuff, um, how to really just even like tell people the products you have. Like it's, it's always a struggle. It's always something that I constantly try to work on and how to really just even let people know what you're doing and where you're doing it. Because it's in New York, man. Everyone's trying to do awesome stuff all the time and you know everybody's competing to you know just for like social media space or just to let people know what's going on with food so using different apps using you know social media and every all these other things to try to manage it was you know something that as a chef i wasn't familiar with so it was a big learning curve but i think uh, i got a pretty good handle on it now but you know it took a while but, you know that kind of aspect yeah and I believe that we seen you on the Food Network. How did you get on the Food Network's Holidays Bacon Champion show? So I was on Holiday Bacon Championships. I was on the, pretty much the full season. Um, that was really, really cool. Um, I got picked for that through an um, uh, agency, like that they search for talent and stuff from fine dining. And you know they look out for chefs who are doing cool stuff, social media, whatever. And they reached out, so I followed up immediately. And then next thing I knew, I was on a plane and out in L.A. for like 14 days. Okay, that's dope. How was it? Oh, it was so cool being part of that kind of production and being able to see stuff. I mean, I grew up watching Food Network, so being able to see how those kinds of shows were made and everything that went into it. And, you know, you think sometimes things are like, you know, weekly, and you know, they have to go back every week. It's like every day. So it, it's really cool to see all the different kinds of things coming together and how like a TV show is actually made, especially in a competition scenario with like 12 other, you know, chefs running around like maniacs. It's a lot to, uh, a lot to handle, give them a lot of credit. <laughs> And what can we expect from you in the next coming months? Oh, well, you know, um, I'm always trying to do new things. I do new specials every couple of days. Um, constantly hitting up new markets. Um, any of the events that we do is always usually a good time because we try to find like the coolest events. Um, you know, and maybe, you know, looking into a shop soon, a real estate shop. Okay. And where can we find you? So, uh, if you check out my website, you can always find whatever markets we're doing or whatever events. We're here uh, until November 2nd uh, at Broadway Bites, and we do that in the spring and in the fall, but we're always at markets, always at different events. It's a good time. All right, and do you have any final words for us? Um, come check us out at Cryo Cream. You know, we do uh, the most amazing ice cream on the planet, and we're always doing different flavors and really cool stuff. So. Trying to push the envelope, come get the best ice cream on the planet. Alright, now CTV, we out. Peace.